Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Casio FX 300 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll be using the shift key that looks like this located here, the mode setup key that looks like this located here, the fraction key that looks like this located here, the times 10 to the x key with the shift function of pi that looks like this located here, and the answer key with the shift function of drg that looks like this located here. Let's say we were given 45 degrees and wanted to convert that to radians. To do this, we need to first set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. Since we're going to radians, we want to set our calculator to radians mode. We can see at the top of the screen there's a D, which says our calculator is in degrees mode. To change that, we press Shift Setup. That brings us to this menu here. We want radians mode. So we select number 4, RAD. We now see we have an R at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in radians mode. Next, we enter our degrees, so 45. And now we tell our calculator these are degrees. To do that, we press the Shift, A and S key. That brings us to here. And we select number 1, the degree symbol. There we go, we now have 45 degrees in radians mode. If we press equals, we see we get 1 over 4 pi, which is a different way of writing pi over 4. Let's try 180 degrees into radians. Since we're already set to radians mode, we can just enter our degrees, and then shift and tell our calculator we want degrees. There we go. 180 degrees into radians. Press equals. And we see we get a result of pi. What if we're given radians and want to convert that to degrees? Again, we start by setting our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So we press shift, mode, and then select number three, degrees, because that's what we want our results in. We see a D at the top of our screen, so we know we're in degrees mode. Now we can enter our pi over 4. So we'll use the fractions. There we go. And then to enter pi, we can press shift, and then this times 10 to the x with the shift function of pi. Scroll down, enter 4. There we go. Now we need to tell our calculator these are radians. So to do that, again, shift, A and S, and then number two is radians. So we press two, there we have pi over four radians. In degrees mode, press equals, and we see we get 45 degrees. Our other example, if we enter pi by pressing shift times 10 to the x, there's our pi, and then set this to radians, so shift, a and s, radians, number two, and press equals, and we see we get 180 degrees. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.